Hey guys, in this lesson we're going to be covering the easiest four chords to play on guitar that you can play hundreds of songs with. So many songs use these chords. I'm going to give you an example of ten to start off with, but um, I'm also going to give you a video which kind of shows you loads of examples of songs that use these four chords in a certain order, uh, known as a four chord song, and I'm probably going to revisit um, this batch of songs that show you how to play um, songs with these four chords an awful lot just because so many pop songs um, use them and this is a really good opportunity to kind of um, showcase your guitar skills and do loads of songs we're getting to the the good stage of, of the course now you should be really excited and uh, those four chords are G major D major E minor and finally C major. In this video we're going to be covering in depth how to play these chords, helpful hints, tricks, uh, recommended chord sequences to use with them and a couple of song examples as well. So starting off with your G major. We have uh, covered how to play this in a previous set of videos, but I'm, I'm going to show you anyway. I dedicated a whole batch of ten songs to this change between D and your G chord, okay? Which is the most common um, chord sequence on guitar. It's the most common guitar change. I really recommend you have your third finger and little finger down on this G chord, which makes it sound like this. This is a alternative way to play a G chord, but it's still a G, it's not a, a different named G. I kind of nickname it Noel Gallagher G chord. This way you can keep your third finger down, we have an anchor finger, and that should really help you get this change really solid. You can play it the normal way, or the standard way that I have taught in the past. Some people even play this way of doing a G major without your first finger. This G is really recommended if you're going to change to a C an awful lot. So that way it can become an awful lot easier. And it's exactly the same as the normal way of playing a G, but it's substituting your middle finger for your first finger, your second finger for your third, and your fourth finger um, for the third one again. So everyone's just kind of switched along one fret. And this way can be really useful to add chord embellishments as well. Adding your first finger down on any point where you would, just to give you a heads up, um, any point where you would add your first finger um, for an A minor chord, you can hit any one of those spots to create uh, some melodic ideas. Really, really useful. Put those within your chord sequence while you're strumming a, uh, a G chord. It can be really useful. Um, from your D chord to an E minor chord, there's no real um, cheating way to do that or there's no helpful way that I can give you. It is just the sake of practice as a lot of these things are. You have to take off all your fingers to do that change. Um, but G to E minor, which crops up a couple of times in this course, uh, you do have an anchor finger. You have your first finger and I'd really like you to keep that finger down as much as possible. If you can just slide it along very slightly, so that we're at the good side of the fret, which is your side of this fret area here. Then that's going to really help this change. As I say, G to C, possibly this way would be easier. Um, or if you're unfamiliar with that way and you need a, a helpful way to get from G to C to get there a little quicker, rather than just the standard way. Again, we can play it this Noel Gallagher way or a barbecue course way of doing it uh, with your third and little finger down and then for your C chord just move your first two fingers down one string and that is a C chord it's a C add nine is the fancy name to it 
or as I say, as I nickname it, Noel Gallagher C, because it does kind of give you this Noel Gallagher 90s um, middle of the road pop song type sounds. And it sounds really great, it means you can change between them uh, much quicker, allows you to strengthen your third and little finger because they'll be getting used a lot for kind of the first time if you've followed this beginner's course and done them in order, that'll be the first time they've been used. Um, and it improves the coordination of your first two fingers because they're doing an awful lot of the work. Um, you can even keep these two fingers down for every chord, so G to an E minor. That could be in preparation for doing Wonderwall, or just because you really dig the sound of it. Um, again, first two fingers in the same place as they are uh, on an E minor chord, but um, we get the sound of that to a C chord. You could keep it down for a D. That will become a D sus4. You can swap between this kind of Noel Gallagher way of doing a D to a normal D. And if you go to that D sus4, which is the name of this chord where you the Noel Gallagher way of doing it, then to a G, it can really help that change as well, D to a G. Go with your little finger early and G. Could be kind of three steps there to your uh, for a, a D to a G change. One a D, two a D sus four, and you're kind of walking back down your fretboard um, to get there. Can be very handy. Um, and I think that's every permutation um, of your your chord sequences gone. Some recommended chord sequences that are really good. I've done uh, a whole video on a four chord song that's going to be coming up real soon. Uh, the link I'll, I'll put the link up now to show, demonstrate a whole batch of songs um, that use the same four chords in this order. That order is G to a D, E minor, and C. And if you do those chords for a bar of each, so G, two, three, four, D, two, three, E minor. more time. Uh, if you struggle with this chord sequence, just do one strum at the start of every bar. So from the top of that chord sequence, if you can strum uh, a high level strumming pattern, go for it. But join in with me from your G chord in two, three, four. G, two, three, four. G, two, three, E minor. Two, three, and two. One more time. G, two, three, four. Two, three, E minor, and then a C. Really cool pop chord sequence used in with or without you, uh, with or without you. Sorry, uh, wherever you will go. Um, loads of loads of songs use that one. As I say, check out the video that I've, I've made for you. Um, another common chord sequence for kind of more older pop songs. Generally, it's still used today, but this is very useful for. Um, for kind of 60s and 50s pop songs. G for a whole bar to E minor and then C to your D. That could be, you know, love hurts, love hurts, it's kind of like a ballad thing, you know. Oh my love, my darling, I've hungered for your touch. Um, so many songs, you know. Stand by me, oh stand by me, just as long as you stand, stand by me. Really common um, order of your chords. Um, you could even do um, the order from before, but start on your E minor. So E minor for a bar, then C, and a G to a D. In fact, absolutely any permutation of these chords you can play and it will exist as a song somewhere. You will probably play these chords and recognize it and go, ah, oh, that sounds like that song. And I cannot recommend that to you enough. Just have a play around with these chords. 
to a pre-planned idea, to a chord sequence that you essentially make up on the spot, but you know the four chords, um, just pick one to start with or write down your order and say you're going to do this, right, I'm going to do this for a bar of each, so you start on C and do that for a bar and then go to E minor and then go to G and finally a D and you do that same one again C, two, three, E minor then a G to a D and you just get used to how they sound you could do it for two bars of each and start on a G two, three, four, one, two, three, two a D then maybe an E minor really no right or wrong when you're just experimenting um, and that's because all these chords are in the same key and that key is G so most of the time most of these songs that we're going to be looking at are going to be in the key of G and then if um, you're at the point where you can do some lead guitar um, you could play um, over these chords or you can get a friend of yours who you want to jam with who's you know maybe a little bit better than you um, he can you know jam along and you you guys can play together because you know what key you're in and you can tell him look I'm in the key of G and he can play some uh, G major scale notes over the top of this and it will sound very complimentary G pentatonic, major pentatonic is another option as well and um, it's really useful to be able to play with other people and this idea of keys is kind of fundamental to the idea of playing with other people when you haven't got specific songs to do when you haven't got you know hours and hours to practice some songs stay in a key and you'll know exactly what you're doing um, okie dokie so check out the rest of the songs in this playlist or click the link uh, below in the description to uh, go to my website where you'll see all these chords and, and songs laid out in the correct order that they should kind of be uh, be learnt in so the first one will be the easiest and the last ones down the bottom will be harder uh, check out the four chord song video which I will put a link up to now and um, I will see you in another the video please subscribe if you like what I do I'm sure I'll see you again Picture the scene we're walking next to a little stream. Don't know if this is real or